perfect because when you get saved and you get the spirit of God, amen. Now look at these scriptures. Now, if God is in you, this is what I've been telling you. Now you can see it in the word. If God is in you, right? Uh -huh. If he's dwelling in you, uh -huh. then perfection comes inside of you. You walking with me? Mm -hmm. It's not your flesh. It's the transformation of your spirit. It's God stepping inside you, the Holy Spirit. So you're not perfect, but the Holy Spirit is perfect. Yes, so since yes. the Holy Spirit comes in you because of your obedience, mm -hmm. God is not looking at your flesh. Your flesh is going down, but the Holy Spirit in you is going up. Are you All walking right. with me? All right. If any man defile the temple, he said, right, mm -hmm. of God. So he's talking about if you defile yourself, right? Uh-oh, uh -oh, guess what? We just covered murder. I mean suicide. Mm -hmm. We just covered it with a scripture right there. Uh -huh. Because if any man do what? Defile. defile the temple. So if you kill yourself, you're doing more than just being a drunk. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You're more than just being a junkie. huh? Uh -huh. You're more than just being a sexual promiscuity. Right? You gave up. You turned away from God. Could I get a witness? Amen. And it says, if any man defile the temple of God, because now it says, him shall what? God destroy. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. For the temple of God is what? Holy. Which temple you are. So even if you don't know exactly how to act holy, that's why you thought I was shot. That's where I uh, shot. That's where the Holy Spirit of speaking in tongue comes. When you speak to God naturally, God help me. And when the Holy Spirit comes, the Holy Spirit is helping you to do the things that you're not normally able to do. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, that Holy Spirit comes in you to take over. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Take over the flesh. Amen? And to help you to do, help me to do what I normally could not do. You walk, walk with me? That goes back to 2 Corinthians chapter 6 that says we bought with a price. Yeah, remember we just got finished reading that chapter 6? We said we bought with a price. This is the same thing that it's saying here. If you defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Huh? Let no man, you want to read the 18th verse for me? He said, do not deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Any one of you think he is wise by the standards of the oh, age. Oh, oh, oh. If anyone thinks that he's wise by the standards of the world, mm -hmm. because you went to theological seminary, because you went to Tuskegee, you went to Harvard, you went to Yale, because you got a graduating diploma, because you're a professional man, a professional woman. That's for the world. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to Jesus, what does it say, brother? Read that word again. It said, do not deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. If any one of you think he is wise. If you think that you're wise. By the standards of this age. By the standards of this age, which means the world. Mm -hmm. He should become a fool. You should become a fool. Mm -hmm. So that he may become wise. Wow. In order for you to become wise, you got to become a fool. So that means the wisdom that you think you already have, you got to throw that aside. Because you've already been born. But now, what it's basically saying, you got to be born a what? Again. Again. All right, now let's go to John chapter 4, verse 24. Is, is this is hot stuff right here. This is hot stuff. All right, let's go to John 4 and 24, and we're going to put the icing on the cake. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to put the icing on the cake. Hallelujah, because it's getting hot up in here. Amen. So we need some icing to sweeten things up a little bit. But first, before we sweeten it up, we got to throw a little bit of more ingredients in it. All right, in... John chapter 4, verse 24, please. Mm -hmm. Say, God is spirit. God is spirit. Mm -hmm. And his worshiper must worship in spirit and in truth. So they that worship the Lord must worship the Lord in the spirit and in the truth. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you can't get the spirit unless the Lord gives you the spirit. Mm -hmm. So that means you've got to keep on seeking. Because while we're seeking not in the spirit, we're seeking in the flesh to get in the spirit. Are you walking with me? Mm -hmm. But let's go up a couple of scriptures before we got to 24. And I'm going to go ahead and finish this, okay? We let go to about verse 17 in John. Uh, the woman answered and said, he was talking to the woman at the well, right? Mm -hmm. Because the scripture starts off that Jesus was with his disciples and uh, he had baptized. They were saying that Jesus had baptized this and did that and this and that. But anyway, he came down to a place called Sachar, huh? 
and he had in his mind to talk to a woman of Samaria, sent the disciples away and began to talk to this woman. Now we're going to jump down to the 16th verse. And Jesus told uh, the 15th verse, the woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus had told her that I got water that you don't know nothing about. Mm -hmm. huh? Because she said, this is Jacob's well. Huh? Mm -hmm. And it don't look like you have nothing to draw with. Huh? So what kind of water are you talking about? Are you trying to rap to me? Uh, I don't know what she was thinking mm -hmm. Jesus yeah. was about. Yeah. Huh? Praise the Lord. Huh? You, you don't have nothing in your hands. Yeah. Huh? Huh? You don't have no ladle. You don't have no bucket, but yeah. yet you're talking about you got water. What kind of water are you talking about? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Well, Jesus said, uh, he said to the woman, he said, the first one thing he said, uh, whoever drinketh of the water shall never thirst again. That's the 13th verse. Mm -hmm. But whoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him yeah. shall never thirst again. Mm -hmm. But the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up to everlasting life. Mm -hmm. And if you had went to John 7, 38, 39, it said, those that believe on the Lord as the scripture have said, mm -hmm. out of their belly shall flow wells of living water. Mm -hmm. And this he spoke of the Holy Spirit, which had not yet been given. Mm -hmm. But there on the day of Pentecost, it said, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all in one place on one accord, and there came a sound from heaven as it were where somebody went. And it filled all the house where they were sitting in. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as a fire. And it sat upon each and every one of them. And they began, I shall not know shit. And then speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give the utterance. And Peter, amen, was listening to him because it was noise abroad. They said, hold it, what's going on? These men are all speaking different type of language than others. Was mom said, hold it, these men are drunk. Mm. But Peter said, they're not drunk. It's only the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken in the Old Testament by the prophet Joel in the last days. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me touch on that a minute because somebody said you didn't just say sons. You said sons and daughters. Mm -hmm. But you say you don't believe in women preachers. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I don't believe in women leaders. But I didn't say I didn't believe in women prophets. Amen. Because when you prophesy, you say what thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. And we need some women that really been touched by Jesus mm -hmm. so we can touch some of these promiscuous women. Mm -hmm. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Because they ain't listening to the men. Yeah. Because they think that the men just trying to get up under their skirts and yeah. pull their pants off. Mm -hmm. So we need some saved women. Mm -hmm. Some non-lesbian women. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. That really know what it is to cover their head. Mm -hmm. Really knows what it means to dress in modesty. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. And represent the holiness of God. Mm -hmm. And let these women know what it is to be good women. To be good daughters. Good nieces. Good aunts. Good women, period. Good wives or girlfriends, whatever you want to call yourself. But yeah. walk in the holiness of God. Uh -huh. In the last days, I'll thing. pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Uh -huh. Thus saith the Lord. Uh -huh. Not what thus saith I, but what does the Lord say? Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? Yeah. So what Jesus is telling the woman at the well... And we're ready to get close. This is what I wanted to bring out. The woman said somewhere, so you telling us that we ought to worship over there or in the mountains. I need to find it. That's 22. Verse 22, the brother said. Go ahead, read it for me, brother. I'm going to start off 21. It go. says, Jesus declared, believe me, woman, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. 22. Um, you Samaritan worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know. For salvation is from the Jew. Yet a time is coming and has now come. When the true worshiper will worship the Father and spirit and truth. Stop right there. You give me 20. 20? Uh-huh. All right. 20 says, um, Our Father worship on this mountain. But you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, Jesus declared, believe me, woman, a time is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. Stop right there. Mm -hmm. It's not about 
where you go. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus was saying. Mm -hmm. It's about where you're at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Because God is everywhere. Can I get a witness? Yes. So she said, from listening to you, Jesus, it sounds like you're telling us that we must go to Jerusalem uh -huh. rather than where we've been used to worshiping. Uh -huh. Huh? Uh -huh. And Jesus said, wherever you've been worshiping that, you, you haven't been worshiping right. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh -huh. It, it, it don't matter where you've been going, huh? Uh -huh. You've been going down the past the so-and-so place. Can I get a witness? Yeah. You've been going down to apostles so-and-so. Huh? Yeah. You've been stopping by elder so-and-so. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Huh? Amen. Yeah. You've been stopping by doctor so-and-so. Uh -huh. huh? And you've mesmerized because who they are. Can I get a witness? Yeah. You mesmerized by what they have, how, how much money they have, the yeah. nice suits and the nice car. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And yeah. what they have gained in the world. Huh? Yeah. But the Bible said, what shall it profit a man mm, uh -huh. huh? to gain the whole world yeah. mm, and lose their soul? Yeah. Huh? So we have made a business out of Jesus. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And it's all right if the business was correct. Yeah. Huh? But what's happening, false prophecy has yeah. stepped in. Yeah. Huh? So yeah. what Jesus said, no, don't worry about going to Jerusalem. <laughs> Don't worry about going to the mountain. <laughs> but right where you are, <laughs> you need to call on God. <laughs> and I'm right here right now. <laughs> I am God. <laughs> Can you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Jesus said, I am the one with the water. <laughs> you worshiping over there. <laughs> I'm standing right in front of your face. <laughs> and you don't know who I am. <laughs> Can I get a witness? <laughs> you talking about the well water. <laughs> but I'm water that will never run dry. <laughs> I am life among life. Can I get a witness? He said, right now, you ought to be calling on me. You ought to be sanctifying yourself. Can I get a witness? Because they that worship God must worship him in the spirit and in the truth. If you drink of me, this is what Jesus was saying, if you get close to me, out of your belly, out of your soul, shall flow wells of living water. The reason why you haven't got it yet because you haven't gotten close enough. You got to get married to the Lord. You got to become one with the Lord. Some folk get in a relationship, but they don't never really become one. They still two in a relationship. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But when you get in a relationship, you got to get on one mind. You got to get on one accord. You got to follow union. Can I get a witness? You got to lead the world if you're going to walk with Jesus. Hallelujah. I know it's hard. I'm an example. But you got to make a step. Can I get a witness? Make a step with God. Lord, Lord, I need you. Every hour, every day, I need you to help me. Turn me around. Place my feet on solid ground. Hey, hey. I can't get in the spirit without your help. Help me, Lord, to lay aside every weight in the sin that you beset me. I got a close here, but God, God, walking in Jesus, said, listen here, woman, amen, they that worship God must worship him in the spirit, but God is the spirit. When we look at 1 Corinthians 3, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 1 Corinthians in chapter 6. It said that we supposed to become the spirit of the temple of God. God will walk in you, but you got to let stuff go. You got to sacrifice. Romans 12. Be, I beseech your brethren by the mercies of God. Sisters, I beg you, lay aside, lay aside something to get closer with the God. Be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. One of these old days, one of these old days, it's all going to be over. Hey, Lord, help me, help me to be saved. Help me to be born again. That's why I said Jesus. You can't do it without Jesus. You can't do it without Jesus. Jesus said I am the bread of life. I am the way. I am the truth. Go over John chapter 4 and you see what he says. She said well are we supposed to go over here? The question I was asked today. Oh, should we go here? You don't have to do that. Call upon the Lord right where you're at. Okay. Yes. And let the Lord lead you. Don't let people get into your mind. You don't have to join nothing. Uh -huh. 
I don't have to join your edifice. And you don't have to join mine. Mm. But if we serve the Lord, we ought to be able to come right. together and praise right. his name mm. together. Because where there's unity, there's strength. Can I get away? Get away. I don't have to sign nothing on no dotted line. I'm already looking to be signed up with Jesus. What we need to sign up with the Holy Ghost. Sign up with holiness. But when I walk into a public facility, I should be able to sit down and hear ye the word of the Lord. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to creep out after the word is gone. Amen. Some people hold their finger up. I'm going to hold mine up too. And hold my hand up and say, hallelujah. Amen. See you next time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm not going to sit there and let you doctrinize me with a whole lot of politics. And I don't do it to people. I never ask nobody to sign no name. Praise the Lord. I'm trying to get you signed up with Jesus. And if you're signed up with Jesus, what you got? You already signed up with me. We're on the same team. And if we're on the same team, we ought to be working together. Come on and say amen. I'm on the Lord's side, hallelujah. I'm on the Lord's side, hallelujah. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they do. I'm on the Lord's side, hallelujah. Oh, I'm on the Lord's side, hallelujah. I'm on the Lord's side, hallelujah. I don't care what they say. I don't care what they do. Oh, I'm on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, I'm on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. I don't care what they say. And I don't care what they do. Oh, I'm on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on the Lord's side. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm on the laws of hallelujah. Oh, I don't care what they say, and I don't care what they do. I'm on the laws of hallelujah. Most happy Father God, as we close out this service, we pray that you touch that man, touch that woman, touch that girl, touch that boy, touch that family. Touch all the families, from the high class to the low class to the no class. Yes. Touch me, God. Touch mine. Touch theirs. Touch ours. Touch us all individually and collectively. Those in the DMV everywhere, we need you like we never needed you before. Have mercy on us, dear God. Help us to do the job that you have appointed us to do. And help us to do it right. Because, God, we don't want to be lost. We don't want to hear you say, amen, uh, not well done. We don't want to hear you say, depart from us. But we want to hear you say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Help us to be the ones that you're calling for in the last and evil days. And we pray for every ministry. We pray for every man that's calling on the name of Christ. Every woman, every family, whether they're weak or strong, we pray for them to be saved and delivered. That they get it right and that we get it right. Because we need you like we never needed you before. Touch us now. Amen. Build a fence around us. Do like you did Job before the devil came through. And then even if we go through like Job went through, then give us back what we lost. In the name of Jesus. Help us to be victorious. Amen. For the scripture says, God, it says that we are more than conquerors through you. Help us to be more than conquerors. Help us not to be defeated in sickness, disease, or demons. But cast out every sickness, every disease, and every demon. Touch us all. This I pray in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And please forgive us our debts, as by your grace we forgive our debts. And please lead us not into temptation, but please deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Forever and ever, let everybody say amen, 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 and amen. 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 Everybody all right? Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes, 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 indeed. Did we make it? Yes.